A Unicorn Like Me, written by Layla Dotson-Lumpkin. We like unicorns. Her unicorns were different shapes and sizes, including her biggest unicorn, BB, who was big enough for Lee to ride. BB was a gift from her uncle and had started Lee's fascination with unicorns. Now, at five and a half, Lee had a lot of unicorns. Some were hard and plastic, others were furry and soft. Today was giveaway day in Lee's home. This is when each family member had to choose items that were not they were not using anymore and donate them to others. She had to go through all of her toys and pick some to donate. Giveaway day was frustrating for Lee. These were her toys. As she started to get sad about having less toys, she imagined a toy she did not play with making another child very happy. Maybe she did like giving things away. Lee still was not sure how she was going to fill her giveaway box. She started by separating her toys. Her dolls were different shapes, sizes, and colors. Some of her stuffed animals looked like real animals in the wild, while others had bright neon colors. She was surprised when she began separating her unicorns. She never realized that they were all white, except for a few colorful accents here and there. What you doing, we said Gia, Lee's little sister, who could not say L's. Trying to figure something out, Lee said, as she took another look at her unicorns. Gia looked puzzled. Never mind, Lee said, and ran past her sister down the stairs. Lee was going so fast that she almost ran right into her mom, who could not see over the big basket of clothes she was wearing, carrying. Lee, her mom shouted as the clothes flew in the air. This is obviously a fiction story. So sorry, mommy and baby in mommy's tummy, Lee said. I have an important question to ask you. Are unicorns only white? Hmm, her mother wondered. I'm not sure. Sounds like you need to do some research. Talk to dad. I need to do some research on unicorns, Lee explained to her dad. I know just the place, he exclaimed. When you're finished filling your box, you can come with me to drop it off. Then we can go to the library. Lee returned to her room and stared at her unicorns again before putting most of them back. She put some of her other toys in the box and headed down back, stair back downstairs. After dropping off their giveaway boxes, they arrived at Lee's favorite library. She ran straight to the elevator to go up to the kids section, almost leaving her dad behind. They were greeted by Miss Ella, Lee's favorite librarian. Miss Ella, Lee needs your help. She has some very important research to do. Yes, it's really important, Lee chimed in. I see, well, let's get to it. They waved to Lee's dad as he slowly walked away to another part of the library. So what are we researching today? Unicorns. Miss Ella's eyes lit up and she raced down the long rows of books until she was near the end. Lee caught up with her as she pulled down a thick black book with glittery rainbow pages. Miss Ella handed the book to Lee. There were no words on his dark cover. Lee wanted to open it, but Miss Ella gently put her hand on the cover and whispered, let's wait. Miss Ella handed Lee special headphones that sparkled like the book pages. Lee headed to her favorite spot of the reading corner and opened the book. The first page said, a complete guide to unicorn creatures in big, bold letters. 
With a loud click, the headphones changed into a helmet. Shades covered Lee's eyes. The ground began to shake, and Lee felt a quick gust of wind as she took off into the air.